what we're doing on the Seven Bridge is we're carrying out the maintenance and inspection of the two structures. So we look after them to make sure that they're safe for the public to, to travel across. Uh, it's pretty much a 24-7 operation. Um, I've been doing it for the best part of 30 years now uh, and I feel very privileged to be able to work on, on the two bridges uh, and to be able to say that we're keeping them open for, for the public to get across into Wales and of course back into England. On this, the old Seven Bridge, uh, it's a constant uh, battle against corrosion really, so we're painting and, and greasing the structure uh, and uh, just carrying out general maintenance and inspection. Um, so the guys go out uh, and, and they, they look for problems uh, and then they put them right, so we're, we're self-sufficient and, and we do everything ourselves pretty much. For the new bridge it's, it's a slightly different challenge because obviously it is newer uh, and there's a lot of concrete as well, not so much steel for painting, although there is a major painting uh, works program going on at the moment. Our biggest challenge is logistics, so it's actually getting to the location to, to carry out the task in the first place. So we use various techniques, abseiling is one, um, also we have cradles and, and various access platforms that we have to rig and set up just to get to the job before we can start. I do feel very proud and privileged to be able to say that I work on, on the bridges. It's, it's something that I, I always drop into the conversation uh, when I'm in the pub if I can. So yeah, it, it is a feather in, in, in our caps to be able to work on structures like these. I think what it says about Lang O'Rourke is that uh, the client at Seven River Crossing are obviously confident uh, that we can do the job. They're happy with uh, the way we carry out the works. We've been doing it now for, for some 15 years plus and we do, uh, we do do a good job uh, and to the standards that are required. I think the future we're, we're just about to, to get a new contract which uh, is likely to take us beyond 2016, maybe to 2018, so it's quite a long term commitment. Uh, that'll see us through to the end of the concession period uh, when it will go back to government hands and I think we'll be in a very good position uh, to carry on with the maintenance past that as well. I think they're both iconic structures but uh, personally I prefer the old one. Uh, it was, it was a, a big engineering achievement at this time, very cutting edge and it still is very special.